Good stuff. It was ringing in my ear <laughs> after that. Oh, that it. was the best one you've ever done. What? Hey, welcome to episode 128 of Front Seat Gamer. I'm here with Blake. Hey. And Severn. Oh, yeah. Hey. How's it going, guys? Yeah, good, I switched good. it up today. Yeah, you also looked at Severn when you said yeah, my yeah, name. Yeah, you yeah, threw yeah. me off as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, took you by surprise. Yeah. Um. So what's new? What's new? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you guys been playing stuff? I've, Dude, I've not really been playing too much. This is, this, yeah. <gasps> oh, my. I do God. need you guys to talk me out of something, though. Don't buy another early release game. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, I have. I have actually bought another. Oh early my release god! Talk you out of something. Yeah, yeah. Because so I've been playing. I've been playing No Man's Sky again. Okay. Um, Blake, don't play No Man's Sky. <laughs> that's not the thing. Uh, they have uh, VR in No Man's Sky. Blake, don't get a VR headset. <laughs> and I'm like, this game would be so awesome. Oh, <laughs> I actually support this. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. Yeah, Blake, yeah. let me ask you a question. I need someone to enable me. Blake, uh, it's like uh, it's a. The thing is, it's a it's a big investment for one game. Mm. I need an enabler to what do you just mean? be just, like just the VI hits it. Yeah, you don't need a new graphics card or anything. Uh well, I'm gonna upgrade my computer pretty soon anyway. Okay, yeah, go all out. Yeah, man. yeah. All wait, right, okay. yes. No, wait, <laughs> shut up. No, this is, all, this is what I need. No, Blake, <laughs> when you're playing New Man's Sky, you're having a good time. Yeah. But I could be having an even better time. Yeah, <laughs> do, yeah. do you really think you'll be having a better time? Yes. Do you think that that do you think, okay, No Man's Sky, it could be a good game if I have VR. Is that what your thought no, process my, is? No, my thinking is this could be an even better game mm -hmm. in VR. I'm with you. <sighs> what VR hits it? Um, probably the, the, the Quest. I think that's the, the one everyone's getting these days. Is there a new Quest? I think there's a Quest 2 either coming yeah, okay. pretty soon. So that one? Maybe. Okay, cool. Christmas is just around the corner. Could just be. Are you? Christmas why are you looking? I'm not going to get you a gift. You're looking at me like I just <laughs> like. Here's a hint, Nick. Get me a thousand dollar headset. I just want you to be a, like, yeah, do it, and I'll I'll be like, yeah, all right. I'm not absolutely not going to do that. <laughs> I'm absolutely not going to do that. No, I think it's a terrible idea. I think it's an okay idea. <laughs> an okay idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think um, well, there there are other games on vr yeah there are it's not just for no man yeah, yeah it's just that's the one that is like maybe the the what are they what did they call it the hot app or something that for me is like a killer app the killer app for me mm. is like this is the thing i'll use it the most to play <laughs> with because i played um you know ages back elite dangerous yeah elite dangerous yep. with um with chris's like oculus at the time yep and even though it was like it was still the development version. Mm. It was still so damn cool playing that game. Uh, when when Mountain Blade Two gets VR, you want me to? Oh my that, god, that I'm more interested in. Yeah, I'm going he first could use person. The same thing. He could use that same. Yeah. Sure. Okay, yeah, but that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> He's anticipating it. Now. I don't know, man. I here's what I predict. I predict you'll buy it. You'll spend a huge amount of money on it. Yeah, and you'll. You'll use it we'll be real for, happy to. For, yeah. <laughs> for a week or two. That's what I'm predicting. <laughs> yeah, you'll be real happy about what you'll get, you've you'll, done. You'll, <laughs> no, no regrets. Two yeah. weeks in, it'll be gathering dust. <laughs> but that's okay. You mean like my Switch? Yeah. <laughs> I, I was actually thinking about the fact that you have you have not used your my, Switch. My Switch is quite dusty over there. Which is a real shame because there's some real good games on the Switch. I know, I know. I don't um, believe you. You don't believe me? <laughs> oh, yeah. I do. The the VR thing, Half Life Alex. Like I know if I had VR, yeah. I'd, I'd want to yeah. yeah, like play that. I hear good things about Beat Saber. Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone's liking that game. Those and, are the uh, two super, games super that people hot. have mentioned. To super, me. super hot is really cool. Yeah. I've, I've heard in VR. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I've played Super Hot in VR. Yeah, is it really cool? Uh, it's hard. Yeah, and at and, and times really frustrating because you don't know you're you're about to be hit. Oh you're, yeah. You're, you're you're like the body sh location does not match the head location. Yeah. Hmm. Um, there's also like what is it? Some of the sculpting apps in it. If yeah, you get into that. those. Yeah, like, yeah. I know Sean, um, concept artist at Grinding Gear is big into it. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. How much is it? Uh, I th- it's under a thousand. Okay. I think. <laughs> what a steal. <laughs> yeah, I think like I-, I think it was like seven hundred what I saw, mm. but that not, was not bad, man. Yeah. Um, especially because didn't you say a couple episodes you were gonna get the, like an a thirty ninety graphics yeah. card? Yeah. A 30, but that's, 30, like, that's like five grand or something crazy. The oh, graphics card? Yeah. I, yeah, I looked. It was three and a half grand. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting that. <laughs> Forget that. That's... Is there anything in your life, Blake, that you probably should buy first? <laughs> what are you talking about? The, uh... I bought a couch. <laughs> <laughs> that, what, that, what, my question wasn't, have you bought a couch? <laughs> <laughs> like what? What else He's am I going to switch? I don't know. That's my question. <laughs> what else? Yeah, I bought a switch. Uh, <laughs> what, else, what else am I going to spend 700 bucks on? Okay, well, summer's coming up. You... you you think you're gonna cook in this place? What does that mean? Well, like, as in like, like, as in like are you getting? Well, like I, a bar I guess, thing? but no, I mean, like, more. Are you going to get too warm in this place? Well, uh, that's interesting that you say that because I got an email that um, I'm getting a heat pump installed. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. You don't have to put money towards that. That's great. No, yeah, it's good. Although, um, second heat pump, my rent to go up because yeah. Of that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe consider that. Yeah. Uh. When when would you be picking this up? Good question. <laughs> when when's the when's the deadline? I guess the question is Christmas, when does Quest right? Two come out, right? Oh yeah. When what? When does the Quest Two come out? Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I need to look up when that actually comes out because uh, I th- I think it's very soon, if not like just out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, you know what? If you get it, uh, I'll only tease you a little bit. Yeah. That's my that's my Christmas you'll gift be, to you. You'll be wanting to use it, I think. I might try it. Out. You'll be like, yeah. But um, I also, I actually think about it. I I, I really want to play Mountain Blade in VR. Yeah. First person skewering people from horseback that sounds would be cool. yeah. super fun. Yeah. I don't know how you play Mountain Blade in first person. It's so difficult. It's so much fun. Yeah. It's it is difficult. Um, but also, it's a lot easier for the like the spear stuff because yeah. you can actually line up hits really easily. Yeah, maybe. But uh, it it oh, it's so much so much fun. Yeah, you still you're still playing Mountain Blade. Heck yeah! yeah. I've got uh, uh, my kingdom now has four cities and like two Whoa. castles or three castles. And how then, much uh, of a struggle has it been? Oh, <laughs> it's been a big struggle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've looking at Steam. I've put in like ninety hours overall. It's okay. quite a lot. Yeah, it's not bad. Not not bad at all. Uh, for for an early release game, early. For you, after. that's not a mobile game or Zelda. That's pretty good. <laughs> hey man, that yeah, fair, <laughs> yeah, totally fair. <laughs> I I beat uh, Paper Mario. Oh nice. That was uh, that was really enjoyable. I suggest you try it out. <laughs> You're not gonna. Do you kill the Origami King? King is that the? Yeah, yeah. That's Spoiler, awesome. yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Spoiler, yeah. You beat the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you beat the bad guy. Um, it's a cute puzzle game. It's got lots of like stuff to find in it. It's, I love how well signaled all the little collectible secret locations are. Uh, I wish there was a little more to do, but I always wish there's a little more to do in games like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you just I, more content, you mean? Yeah, but you know what they they you they get a lot of mini games out of it. Mm. Which I think is kind of cool. It's one of the things I love about a lot of Nintendo games is they don't lock you into a specific gameplay style the entire time. They'll yeah. give you a variety of things to do. Yeah, sure. It's pretty solid. Is there another? Is there a Nintendo game on the horizon that you're looking forward to? Zelda Two. Dude, that's so far. I know. <laughs> is that it? It's uh, just a desert is, until. Is it far? I think so. They haven't announced a release like they, date. They had that trailer yeah, yeah, like yeah. last year, right? Yeah. Yeah, they announced it last year. Yeah. And it's uh, this year they showed. No, I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think they, they did anything this year. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I would guess we're at least another year away. Mm. Probably two. Jesus, yeah, that, because they'll that's probably hard. show some gameplay next year and then yeah. anticipating a release. The well, it's interesting. Nintendo's like press cycle seems to be very, very short at this point for most games, where they will show a trailer often just a couple months before the game comes out. Yeah, but this is not the case for. Well, Zelda's a special case. Mm. They they announced it month like years in advance, but who knows? They might show gameplay and release it a month or two later. I really don't know. Mm-hmm. Did they 
do one of their treehouse things today, uh, this year? I don't know. Because like E3 was, you know. Yeah, oh, I th- they they do things like that. All, I think they do it quarterly. They have like a Nintendo oh, okay. press show. Nintendo thing. Direct. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so, Fern, have you been playing anything? I have been playing something. I've, I've been playing a mobile game. Whoa. I've, I've been playing like random games, but uh, I'll, I'll talk about this mobile game. Um, the story behind it was um, I was talking to Dr. Alex at work, and he he refuses to show me what he's playing. And I was like, really, bro, <laughs> is it just some like real nerdy ass game? Uh huh. And he was like, yeah, it's pretty nerdy. And um, we just started talking about games. And uh, he was like, you would like this this AI dungeon game. Um, have, have either of you guys You know guys what? Heard of I, it? I downloaded AI dungeon and then it asked me to make a, an account. And I was like, nah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, you've, you've, you've got to do it. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to recommend this game. Okay. I'm not even into like role-playing games yeah but this one's quite hilarious um so the 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 main thing behind ai dungeon is that the back end is um an open ai system okay so it's open ai 2 yep and you can actually pay for the premium open ai 3 version yep okay. which is uh it's the same kind of ai but it's had a whole heap more training data okay so there is a there's meant to be a lot more depth with that ai sure um, but yeah, it's just role playing and oh. you have like a do and a say button and then you can just interact with the story that wow. way. However, and mm. you can just like talk how you normally would. So it's like really open ended. Wait, talk how you normally would. Yeah. So, um, like you speak. Well, yeah, you can just type in what you would say, oh, type okay. in what you would do and you can be very descriptive. Yeah. Um, with how huh. you go about. And it understands. Yes. What? Yeah. So it's Holy quite, hell. it's quite great. Um, <laughs> I, I had a um I had a quest to like kill a mythic mythical beast. Yeah. Um and I was in the forest, I was a ranger. Um I pulled like I was just hiding in the bushes. I was spotted, a thing comes over, and I go to pull my bow up at it and it's like, Hey, uh no trespasses here kind of thing. Mm. And it started like approaching me and oh, I, yeah. I shot him. Took him down. Uh not like a lethal blow or anything. Yeah. Wow. Um so I started talking to this guy and he was like, look, I've been told to lie to humans. And I was like, then you mean nothing to me. I'm, I'm killing you. So, so I killed this guy and, um, and, uh, and then I get out. You killed the mythical creature. And I was like, what, what, the, what the hell? <laughs> what? It's <laughs> the then, last of its kind. And then I, and then I looted the guy. Um, these, these guys are like patrolling the yeah. area. Um, I, I go to progress the story and find a tavern, like an inn. Like, and I'm thinking the context is I just need to find a place to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking to the receptionist. <laughs> I, I don't know who you'd call this guy. Excuse me. Are you the receptionist? <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to ask for a room. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so I've, I've been in this situation before. <clears throat> I, I'm a rogue, whatever. I'm, I'm role playing. Um, so I asked for like the finest room and I was just like, Hey man, how much is it for like the best room that you've got? And yeah. he's like 400 gold. And I'm like, cool. Give me that room. Yeah. I go, uh, like I ask him about the room and I'm like, Hey man, um, do you have any entertainment in this room? And he's like, Uh-oh. yeah, we've got like a TV, like, Wait, <laughs> what? and, 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 a, and like a game console. And I'm like, what? what? <laughs> like what kind of world? Oh is my this? goodness. Yeah. Can you, can you play? <laughs> AI hey, dungeon on the game console, dude. I was like, uh, "What kind of ga- what kind of games do you have?" And they were like, uh, "We've got Mortal Kombat and Lego Batman." And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so it's just hilarious, like what the knowledge base of yeah. this. <laughs> what the hell? That's insane. This AI has. Um, so I go in there anyway, and um, there's a weird smell in my room, <laughs> and immediately I just turn back around and I'm like. I just want to complain. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. This is not the finest room. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah. dude, what the hell? Like, and I'm just complaining to this guy. Yeah. And um, the receptionist. The yeah, receptionist. the receptionist. <laughs> and so I'm like, hey man, uh, there's there's like a weird smell in there. Like, can you just send a cleaner in? And he was like, no, nah, I can't do that. And I was like, can you give me another room? And he was like, look, we got another room, but it's not for you, kind of thing. And I'm like, look, I, I'm demanding <laughs> a new a new room. Get a cleaner here. I'm gonna like sleep in the the lobby otherwise okay and um and he's like look uh we're gonna like 
we're trying to defeat this Russian mob. (laughs) 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 And they're a part of like the mafia. (laughs) And it just comes out of nowhere. (laughs) Specifically the Russian mob? Yes, yes, yeah. And I'm like, I don't care about this. (laughs) Like... (laughs) That's, oh my god! <laughs> it's so freaking great. Um, so anyway, I'm I'm like dealing with the Russian mob now, and I and I met and I met like the Don. Okay, like the yep, Don has yep. like shown me to this yeah. other room. Did he sort out the smell or? <laughs> and and dude, all the while I'm trying to like interject and be like, guy, like I just want a room. I want to sleep. Your quest is to just sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're going on this well, giant it, journey. It, in my head, I'm just like, dude, I just want like the room. I just want to sleep. <laughs> yeah. But the AI thing is like, this is the next mission. Yeah. You're and gonna defeat this Russian mob. Try and, and like put moments it in front ago, I killed a mythical ble- beast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, um, it's with like a bow a, and arrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever find out what the weird smell was? No. Uh-huh. I didn't inspect. But, you know, they gave me another room. Wait, I mean, room. the dawn. You don't know. They gave me another room, which had a weird smell and a pool of, like, some kind of liquid oh. on yeah, the ground. Yeah, that sounds like the dawn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he would have been in there. Wow. He's he's done some stuff. So, a- AI Dungeon, man, you got to make an account. That yeah, sounds okay. amazing. Um, I, I, it's exactly... Uh, the thing that crossed my mind <laughs> when you started talking about it is, like, I bet this is real derpy with, like, how it sort of... The AI puts together a storyline, and mm. it sounds exactly about as derpy as I, it, as I would hope. Well, like I'm I'm playing the free version, um, but like apparently op- the the uh, OpenAI three, like yeah. the the paid version, is way better. Hmm. And so, how much probably, is it? It's like ten dollars a month. That's interesting. Okay. Oh wait, so, is a subscription? The 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 like higher AI version of yeah the, yeah. Um, huh. But you can play the the one that I'm playing, the dumber one. Yeah. Um, the dumber one sounds pretty great. It 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 is. Yeah, and I'm having a blast. Like I'll just do that after dinner and just be laughing. Like when I was hit with that, <clears throat> the the Mortal Kombat <laughs> thing, just the just the, <laughs> to find out that that existed in the same world was. Did you end up playing hilarious. Mortal Kombat? Uh, no. Uh. I, I was I was asking him what like was on the t- TV, <laughs> like if they had cable. That's um, incredible. Can I play a scorpion? Yeah. <laughs> no, are, I want to play. Are a you any good at Mortal Kombat? <laughs> But yeah, it, it just turned into like me complaining about this room, and then that the sounds so thing. hilarious too because it's such a that's like such a mundane thing. Dude, to be, some of the some I of just the... want to complain about this smell in my yeah. room. <laughs> I, I am intrigued by the the idea of doing everything in your power to avoid the quest yeah. within this. So, yeah. so Alex told me about one of his stories where um, so it you know he went for like a sci-fi i don't know futuristic landscape kind yep. of thing you, you get to randomize okay. and choose whatever world you play in uh, what um, ca- just before we jump into that what what world did you choose it was like fantasy all oh, right that's yeah. so and they just Fan- <laughs> fantasy and they fantasy been... russia up and up until they said <laughs> the mob? we've got a tv and a thing <laughs> yeah did, was there any hint that it was like anything no. other than Not like a fantasy no <laughs> Like I thought it was fantasy, yeah, and yeah. mythical creature. Like yeah. it, it, it kind of had those tropes. Like all the names of things were like you're trespassing here. <laughs> you killed the mythical creature! <laughs> yeah. Yay! That, By the yeah, way, the was... Russian mob's around. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. <laughs> you want to play some you. some Lego Batman real quick? <laughs> I just talked to the receptionist <laughs> in this tavern. <laughs> um. So Alex's story. Um. So he he is just wanting to see how deep this AI is. Yeah. yeah. So he. You know, they set the scene where you're in this sci-fi thing. You look down an alleyway, you see this lady being assaulted by like two two dudes. Yeah, right? and he's just like, "All right, teleport out of there." <laughs> <laughs> so he'll just like go into like interdimensional yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So he he does not care. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm curious about. Is like, what are the extreme limits of what they'll? Yeah. Uh, Co- how how they will try and keep you on the story? What, it, what... it or like from what you were saying, it does seem like there are maybe some story beats, like the the weird smell. Yeah, that showed up yeah. twice. Yep, seems like something. Oh yeah, that's there was like... something that they wanted me to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if the weird smell would have been a different story to the Russian mob, and the Russian mob was their like back their their B plan or whatever. Yeah, maybe. Like, but, yeah, I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> said, ah, yeah, this Russian mob. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I want a different room. Oh no, the dawn is here! <laughs> Everyone get down! Everyone, do your rooms! <laughs> that sounds incredible. I'm going to play this, yeah. definitely. H- highly recommend yeah. it. Right. So cool. That's amazing. I'm going to try it out as well. So it's like, 
that's that's amazing because like I've seen um you know the the like like stories written by AIs yeah and they're always have you ever seen kind of nonsensical have you seen the movies written by AIs I haven't there they... are a couple of uh, short films where the scripts were created by AI yeah and then they were like filmed wow by humans what are they oh like... they're they are completely nonsense yeah but um entertaining wow. It's definitely entertaining, though. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's so good. I'm yeah, I, I think this is like the perfect yeah. like um, use case to interact with an AI like this. It's yeah. just hilarious. Yeah, the fact yeah. that because like it it, it 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 sounds like it's a like a you know those old school text adventures. Yeah, but they had ve- you had to type very specific commands. Mm. Yes, and the fact that you can just type anything and it just adapts is incredible to me. Yeah, um, the the things that I'll say about it because i didn't know this early on but you can get responses and if they're not great you can re-roll responses uh, so yeah. um huh. for example like i i died the first playthrough like real quick like <laughs> yeah. um, whoa i think like three moves in <laughs> shoot shoot the guy in the forest the bo- the arrow bounces off the tree what? and hits well, you like, <laughs> what, what killed you I okay hear so what, what happened you. okay the first playthrough was um I don't know. I just I just rolled some random thing. It, it was the same kind of thing. I I went into a tavern. Yeah. Right? Um. So I was in a tavern. I walk in, and you know, I I just look around. Yeah. And then a guy spots me. He's with a group of friends, and he points at me, and so I just look over at him, and uh, he comes over, puts his arm around me, uh huh, and he says like, he's gonna buy me a drink. Okay. And then I Oh I, no. And and then I see a, a friend of mine like in the corner. Uh-huh. This is pretty much like word for word what happened. And then I turn back to him and his friend kills me. <laughs> like he Whoa! just shoots me in the head. Yeah. <laughs> shoots you in the head. Yeah, yeah. Holy damn. And so so like I I didn't know anything about it. He was part it. of the Russian like, mob. I was like, what the hell? It, these weren't even connected. It was like Shoot a you with completely what? different uh, like a gun. A gun. <laughs> these <laughs> Modern day things keep popping up in your fantasy <laughs> world. <laughs> yeah, but like in that case, I should have re-rolled for something else. Yeah, and um, I could have probably pursued <laughs> something different. That's rough. Yeah, that that's was some Dark rough. Souls shit. That's, but I, but that's I just also, bad DMing, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I also, <laughs> yeah. I also didn't realize that you could switch from like do, say, and story kind of thing. Oh, so right. I was just, yeah, yeah. I was just doing actions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I wasn't saying anything to this guy. I was uh-huh. just doing things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But that means that you weren't, you yeah, were just like, looking around and a yeah. guy shot yeah, and I killed know, you. I know, I know. What? You're ignoring him. You can't ignore that guy. It sounds like he didn't ignore him. He looked right at him. Oh, yeah, you did look right at him. I, I did look over at him, yeah. Maybe that was it. Did you wink? I, I don't know. Maybe you should have winked. <laughs> that was... I, I, I don't know the context. Like it, <laughs> I just did the actions, man. <laughs> we'll uh, never know. We'll never know. Yeah. If you, you, you like... Is it so random that if you tried to recreate those same steps, you'd just get a different outcome? Yeah, I don't think I could recreate. Yeah, that. It, it's so great. Um, and Alex was just saying like you could be really descriptive. He um, yeah. He he told me about one of his stories where he actually used magic to hold a person like hostage. Yeah, and then he was just like uh, asking questions. Wow, dude, and this so is amazing. This this goes into like um AIs and context and like knowing what AIs know about real life mm. like so one of the examples is like if you, <laughs> you you can test them so you say i i take a shoe and i put it on a scale mm. what happens and you just ask the the ai and the ai in that situation needs to know like oh scales are things that you use to weigh things mm. and a shoe weighs x amount like it's, yep. it's that kind of context there's another thing i find interesting which I, i'm very curious to try out which is how much of uh past events it will remember yeah um for example if you take your shoe off put it on the scale mm. and then t- try to walk over broken glass or like yeah will, yeah, yeah, will yeah, that exactly. matter you know um because obviously there's there's lots of things it has to know that you took a shoe off that yeah. you would have maybe been wearing shoes that you only have one like yep. what shoes are for what broken glass consequences are yeah so yeah, this is this this is very uh, yeah. interesting to me. Yeah, yeah. The, the, are you gonna get the? Uh, I am. Yeah, I'm gonna the, set aside like some time and just grill it. The the three the the, um, the one month subscription. Yeah, yeah. I I very much want to hear about what that. It must be damn like. good if it it has a subscription. 
I think so. Like a mobile game. I, I think it's already good. Is, is... I've never heard of that. Yeah, oh, it's, it's I definitely the, have heard of that. It's, it's because <laughs> of the data. Like the, the actual yeah. open AI thing is licensed, I believe. Oh, okay. Um, so to have it connected is, yeah. I think, expensive. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I don't mind the idea of paying for it, but I, if it, I think it has to be a good enough service. Oh yeah, yeah, that's so what I'm, I'm saying. Like for them to be saying, "Hey, this is you'll want to pay a subscription." Well, my worry is it's not that it is you're subsidizing the improvement of the AI. Mm, yeah. So I guess Severn, mm. our our guinea pig, will be. Uh... <laughs> the thing is, Alex is already doing it. Oh, he's already yeah. doing the, yeah, yeah. the paid thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, How long has he been doing it? I don't know. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't have the heart to ask him. <laughs> but but a, a, a while like yeah he he knows all that technical stuff about it and wow. the guy was right man I'm I'm like I'm just looking at that it, it's really cool the, so the story about it like the open AI system as well is that the actual uh, way it responds and stuff the the actions it takes was it's the same in two it's just the training data is a lot in three. And apparently the guy who made this and like the main guy behind it, um, he's actually not moving on to like a version four. He, he's writing a thing to tell you how you could tell the difference, like why, what the flaws are of um, OpenAI 3. Oh, as in you, you as a player can provide feedback? No, no. Like the guy developing it yeah. is just like, he's not, he's not making the he's, next version. Mm. Yeah. He's writing a thing to say these are the reasons why it fails. Like he's actually oh criticizing okay. the the thing that he's made. Yeah. So he's he's So he's he's given up. No he's not he, <laughs> he's given up and, and is now turned against it. I I'm un, I don't think he's giving up. He's just saying these are the like, like these are the holes. Mm. If, yeah. if you push this learning data, like these are the holes and maybe areas like, of improvement for maybe the next thing. Yeah. So so then what's but he's not making a he's not making an improved version of it. Right right now I don't think he is. Is it like a post mortem kind <clears throat> of thing where he's like I guess so, yeah. Yeah. So he's just yeah, criticizing like yeah, how good yeah. the thing is. So yeah, there's are other is this other people work like is this an o this is an open yeah, source a, thing, right? It's, it's a whole team like e Elon Musk is involved oh, in this Jesus. thing. Jesus. It's wow. it's it's a big deal. Like the whole yeah. open AI uh, thing if is it's like, so then, if it's open so source his, any number of people, yeah. So then his work like compiling the reasons why this fails will help people who develop work on AI it in further, the future. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. So it's it's really academic. Yeah, in that sense. That's incredible. Yeah, and and it just happens like you can like mess with it. Unbelievable. I wonder. So have you have you looked to see if there are other AI games like around? I don't think that even compare to this. Yeah, like because everyone like the amount of development this yeah. has is probably like way more than the next thing what is the uh what does the interface look like it's just text it's just text it is just a text adventure it's images yeah. as well i think um i didn't have images <laughs> <laughs> oh well there's images at least on the title screen uh -huh. yeah so, to, to show you the world yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah like this this is, this oh, is okay I'm, yeah. I'm just yeah it's a straight up text adventure yeah this is incredible man it, it really is cool <laughs> i'm i'm so blown away by this <laughs> You gonna get? Uh, does it? Does it have PR capability? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it, I can see all the letters. I'm really in there. <laughs> like I'm in the text. <laughs> oh, uh, you'll have to read some of this, like afterwards. It's, it's yeah. Oh, does it keep a full log of everything yeah, you've does. done? That's it cool. Does. Um, that I that I'm curious. I would love to save them and and mm. uh, and and try and like replicate them and mm. see if because uh, all of AI is probabilistic. And so it, it's all sort of you. You do a thing, and it has a some number of options, and it just selects from a chance. Mm. So I'd be curious to see what that looks well, like. Well, yeah, like I'm I'm deep in with the mob. I I don't think I could shake them now. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. <It's, laughs> well, it sounds like no matter what you tried, the mob was gonna. Yeah, like it, it the seems, mob was inevitable. It seems like every room I go into, there's something. There's, there's a, a mob. smell. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a smell. smell in there, and there's something on the floor. <laughs> But I just refuse to like go for. I go just outside. Leave the you smell something weird. There's something weird on the floor. I probably could leave. Yeah, just leave the tavern and be like, I'll go to the next tavern. Yeah, can I go to the other <laughs> side of the planet? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm just gonna leave. Place, I'm gonna... So you guys have a little corruption issues. I think I'm just gonna go somewhere. Else. Yeah. It's... 
Yeah, this fucking mob is just hanging out in this tavern. I'm definitely going to leave. I don't think I'm going to patronize you guys. No. I'll go. Yeah. Can you just make shit up and be like, I'm going to stay at my cousin's house in this town. <laughs> I pull out a tent. Yeah. No. I spot a skyscraper to my right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I weave a cocoon. <laughs> uh yeah, uh, I, like, I like this. Is how it's great. I'm there, so there is there, there is a um. Alex also pointed me to this like huge um image, which is just a breakdown of stories that have been like um made into cartoons, just quick cartoons. Oh, cool! Okay. And so yep. you can just like scroll down and w- watch these really silly events that mm-hmm. have happened through OpenAI. Yeah, yeah, and some of them are quite great. Wow. Um, what is Alex? Well, I guess. This is really a question for Alex, but I'm curious what he thinks of it as a tool for non-tech adventure game development. Like, for example, you worried about your job? No, no, not, <laughs> not. I think story is something that um, AI is generally going to really struggle with. Yeah, because it, it involves so much previous context mm. to create a good story. Well, just the just the stuff you're saying just before about like, you know, you take off your shoe and yeah. then does it know this? This is stuff that is taken for granted by yes. a DM. Like you don't even like, you know, like like a dungeon master play in D and D. Like this is just stuff that's like it's like a nothing. It's yeah, like, it, you don't you don't need to worry about it because yeah. it's just uh, that's how the, a human mind works. Yeah, you are yeah. aware and you you have shared experience and yeah. shared context and and um yeah. But I'm I'm curious. Like, is there is there a a niche for uh, AI that develops a three D world? You know, using cobbled together assets we mean like and random npcs mm-hmm. and like you and you can navigate you know a, a randomly generated procedurally generated world i see what you're saying yes but th- but consider no sky, right? but consider yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about but, but consider okay but and, like, how about a whole universe <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right her point i guess uh greatest game i take it back yeah no man's sky doesn't actually have you do anything though is the problem it's the funny thing with No Man's Sky is that over the last few years, they have added like quest lines and things for you to do. Uh huh. But you still get to a point where you're like, "What am I doing?" Yeah. 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 That's, yep. Why are you not? What am I doing? And why am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm also kind of hitting that point in um in Mountain Blade too. Yeah. Uh, there is a quest line. The, the game is not finished though. Yeah. And uh, but. You you start capturing cities and it kind of gets harder and harder because as you become more and more competitive as mm. a threat, cultures start waging war more often. So, uh, it is a it is a grind at this point. Yeah. I think, but I'm still quite enjoying it. It's it's surprising how long, uh, that game stays enjoyable for. Are you just constantly at war? No, in fact, yeah? I was. Getting frustrated because I was I was <laughs> constantly at peace for a wow. while. I I would start wars with nations, and then like some of my vassals would be like, "Let's make peace real quick." Wow, yeah. But I I want war. Wow, are you a war economy? Uh, I think almost every culture has to be a war economy. Yeah, in that game. That's, yeah, that's something I don't like. I mean, you don't have to be. You can you can just run around and trade. Like I was making a yeah, lot of but, money passively, just having my caravans go around. Yeah, I suppose. But I mean, the game is about war, so it makes yeah, it's sense not that. called Ma- Mount and trade. Sachet full Mountain of trade. goods. <laughs> Mount tra- yeah, okay, Mountain that's trade. Better. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> I'll give you that. Yeah, uh, that should be a. That, I mean, that's got to be a name of a mod. Mountain trade. <laughs> just. A mod for the trade. If system. it doesn't exist, someone get on that, please. Yeah. Uh, the but, name alone is worth it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing Legends of Runeterra again. Card game. Yep. They just put out an update two days ago. Added a new a new card type, Landmarks, mm-hmm. which just sit on the battlefield and have an effect. And I haven't used them yet. Cool. <laughs> cool. But it's I'm I'm excited that they're adding a new card type. It was before they just basically had creatures and spells, and this is a third. So it's interesting to see them slowly building out their, I guess, variety. Yeah. Do you see this game like sticking around? That's a good question. It's it's a good game. I I actually think it's like a really solid card game. Yeah. Uh, you thought the same about um, 
What was the uh, the Elder Scrolls game? Yeah, the Elder Scrolls yeah. one. Yeah, this is why I this is why it's a tough question to answer yeah. because I think that the quality of the game isn't necessarily going to reflect how well it does at this point. The market is oversaturated with card games, or at least it was at this point. A lot of the card games are falling to the wayside, mm. uh, and now Legend of Terra might have the legs it needs. It might it, it might its business model is really weird as well. Yeah, most card games are about buying packs. Yeah. You can make a lot of money that way. Legends of Runeterra is about buying cosmetics for the most part, which, as well, we for know... The cards? Yeah, cosmetics like, for like, the cards? Yeah, like card backs and battlefield skins and like little minions that sort of sit off to the side. Yeah. And it's just all cosmetic stuff. Yeah. You can buy cards, but it's not sort of pushed in front of you. Yeah. It's not, you can't really buy packs. You can just buy individual cards. Wow, so it's a, uh, uh, it's a. I I really I can't say for sure how well it'll do in the future. Mm. Can you trade? No, yeah. no. Mm, that's a that's a miss. <laughs> well, this you, I can't think of almost any. I think I, you can trade in Magic the Gathering online, mm. but most card games you can't because I actually don't know why you can't. Yeah, that that seems like a really missed opportunity. I think it's because it. Uh, it's bad for their business model. Why? Because let's say you want to play Hearthstone, okay, and you want to focus on the Druid class, okay, and you buy a bunch of cards and you get classes. You get you get your cards split across nine or ten classes at this point. Mm. You now have like nine classes worth of cards that you don't need. You mm -hmm. can trade them off and make your Druid deck and and spend way less money than you otherwise would trying to assemble your deck. That's cool. But that's bad for the for the business model. But it's cool for people that want those. Counts. Oh yes, but Blizzard doesn't care about that. Uh, but uh, there's also that uh, value, like the idea of just your things having value. Yes, and that being a thing. Yeah. Um, and you can't have that when you don't have trade. You you don't right. have perceived value of anything. Well, you have a set value. Yeah, and that's it. But you can't ever trade it. Um, in a real card game, hmm. most things are worth far less than what you pay for them, right? Um, because you something. buy you buy a pack of cards, you have 15 cards in there, only one of them is going to be a quote-unquote rare, mm. and even then it's going to be not desirable because there's people who buy 400 packs of cards mm. and they get like five of those and they don't need them. This can be controlled. You can control the number of things that you produce. Yeah, of course, but um, you can't control the value people put on them only some small subset of cards are going to be considered above the power curve mm. and therefore will be above the like the price curve and everything else is going to be less and probably substantially less than the original value yeah it's it's an online game though the, these these everything is can be changed like values power oh now now thing. we're getting into weird territory because okay. if you start tinkering with things that have <clears throat> real money value to yeah. players I'm thinking that's about Path of Exile, by the way. That's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Well, in, in Path of Exile, you you don't buy gear, right? Mm. Well, you 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 are not well, you allowed to buy gear. Buy Some power. players probably do. Yeah, you, yeah, exactly. You're it, you, it's against the rules. You're not meant to. Yeah, yeah. Um, if if you if yeah, for but example, not us. okay, this, like I know what you're talking about, like like those sites that yeah, it, that sells up. But that's not us doing right. it. If somebody buys spends actual money and buys something off a third party site and then we tinker with something that's yeah. not us selling it to them and then tinkering right. with them they, exactly. they just bought it basically second hand from someone yeah this this is a real problem in in magic the gathering where like let's say they print a card it's way too strong people have spent hundreds of dollars buying these cards to build their super strong deck yeah then the they ban that card yeah from tournaments mm mm-hmm. mhm you have just spent four hundred dollars on something mm. you can't play. Yeah, you still have. Yeah, a card, and it's a though. thing that they. But, but now, and but now it's not. With, it's not worth anything. It's. It. I think it does have value. This is the card that they. I mean, it has nursed. value to collectors, right? Because <laughs> yeah. it's yeah, like, exactly. oh, this this is a rare ah. one because it got banned, right? No, no, <laughs> because it what? it it's no one wants it anymore. So right. The value immediately plummets. Its its value yeah, was like, was contingent I, on its demand. There's not if even I a niche. Put it, like on my wall. Yeah. It, like and look at it. To re remember how this, you know, company nerfed this card. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it's value. Yeah, there's, okay. there well, is value it, on it. But you... There isn't a dollar value on it. 
<laughs> I would, I would, I would there say there must be. I would of say course, there must of be. Of course, there is some amount of value from and it. And it's but, not. But it does not. It's it's not comparable to the amount you spent on it, right? Yeah. Like for, it, for mo- I'm telling you, for most players, this is the case. You know, they the power of the card uh, it cor- correlates to the value of the card because it's also correlated to the demand of the card. Mm. If the power of the card becomes zero because it's banned, the demand of the card drops, the value of the card drops, and now you've just spent a bunch of money on something that is now worthless, basically. Mm. Not worthless, do but, you, you know, think, a fraction of its original you, price. Did, did you hear of, like, Atari and the ET cartridges like mm-hmm. in, the, in the desert? Sure. No, yeah. no value, right? I mean, I don't know. I, but, I guess but to... I think kind of valuable now. Like if you had one of those cartridges, I think, I think, I think they're yeah, only you, valuable you now. You only had to wait thirty five years. No, no, <laughs> I think, I think they're, I think they're valuable now yeah. because hundreds of them were thrown away and dumped. Yeah. If those were just out in the wild, yeah. I don't think they'd be as valuable now as as because they're just you'd just be able to get one off yeah. like eBay. I promise you, you can still just get one off eBay and it's not worth much. Yeah, yeah. But what happens if it was from that landfill? <laughs> Uh, if it had some dirt, yeah, then. yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> how do you know it's not a forgery? <laughs> how do you know someone just didn't get a normal one and then cover some dirt? Dirty it up. Yeah, you don't. You don't. So that's the reason. Um, trade that's history that like there's really cool stuff. It's like collecting stamps. I think it. like yeah, this is the thing. Like I think it there's value to the right people, mm. but the right people will pay a lot for. Yes, things history. that other that uh, there will be like I'm not paying anything for it's that. It's history, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'm not saying you're wrong, but what I am saying is you're wrong. <laughs> no, I'm saying um, like the the value of a banned card, mm. the monetary value, of yeah, that is just is just less than a, right. the value of a of a playable card, right? Because it's more than a playable card is just as a cl- as collectible mm. plus useful. Right. And now if you now let's let's transpose that to a digital card game where instead of banning cards you alter the power level. T- tell me, a uh, Black Lotus is that banned in tournaments? No. No. It is limited in tournaments. Yeah. Which means you can have I think one in your deck. Pretty uh-huh. pretty valuable though. Yes. Is that is but that because it's still it's usable? It is that is in part because it's yeah. still usable. So if that was and banned it was you'd, a, you'd see their their value drop, do you yeah. think? Yep. Yeah. You think so? Yes, I do think so. There, there is so much like. Uh... It, actually, you know, the Black Lotus is an interesting case. Maybe I might be wrong about that. Mm. There's a there's a mythology about the Black Lotus, yeah. which helps add to that value. But there are a lot of banned cards, and there are a lot of limited cards. The yeah. Black Lotus was the rarest. It was only available in the alpha and the beta, I think. Um, so it's already got like there's just a a set number of copies, and they've said they're never reprinting it. Yeah. Um. Whereas for a banned card, there's probably a lot more. They clearly printed too many of them and decided mm. this is too powerful. Mm. Um, there's not necessarily the mythology You're around it. saying because it was already a limited release, it's already got more value than regular cards that are just printed now and are Yeah, like there's just, there's just fewer of them. Yeah. It's older. Well, we're not talking yeah. about like commons, are we? No. Okay, we're talking about rare cards. About yeah. what? Like common cards, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, but it also, it doesn't really matter what the rarity I, I, is. I think the, I as think, soon as it becomes banned, it becomes less valuable. I, I, I think there's probably a case for no that they they're they're still valuable if they're rare. If if they're like a black lotus and banned, I, I they might still, still think, be valuable. Yeah, I'm I'm not arguing that. What I'm saying is they're less valuable. Okay. Than if they were playable, and so if like twenty percent, thirty percent, like like ninety percent. Hmm. There was a case, so recently, um, this I maybe came recently, this is like, a couple years ago, uh, there was some card that was like quite old, hmm. and uh, it suddenly became very powerful in a certain kind of deck, hmm. and um, the price of it shot up, it was like, it used to be like a one or two dollar card, and it was like 40 oh, or 50 dollars, okay. Yeah, and then they banned it, and the, drop, the price dropped. Huh. Um, here's another, uh, they... They banned a bunch of cards that had kind of uh, uh, racially charged names and, okay. uh, and art. There was yeah. this one, I think, called like Holy Crusade or something like that. Okay. Um, those cards were printed, you know, 10 or 15 years ago, more than that, actually, like yeah. 20, 20 years ago, were worth a little bit, um, but they got banned because of the yeah. the connotations with them. Price dropped. Huh. 
Mm, yeah, can't speak to that. So I'm, I'm just on, saying on an online game, and using Path of Exile as an example. Yeah, like, uh, it, yeah, it's it could be changed. However, but based on like the whims of the developer. Yes, which is why uh, trade in a digital game where there's a real money value for those objects mm. is a risk. Yeah, sure. Um, and it's also a bad business model because it it immediately reduces the amount that a average customer has to spend to succeed in that game. Okay. But what about... So you were saying uh, this game you're playing, they don't really sell card packs. Right. So could they just have trading? Because um, you're saying all like all their stuff is mostly microtran uh, yeah. is uh, cosmetics stuff. Yes. And you're saying that you can buy individual cards. Yeah. But like you're only going to want to buy like for your deck or whatever. Specific sure. like individual cards. Yes. Yeah. Uh it's a good question. So part of this I guess is there needs to then be a trading infrastructure. What mm. does that look like? Yeah. Um either a marketplace or or something. Um it's a means of like there's as soon as you introduce the capacity to uh, exchange goods with another player that have any sort of currency ties, you introduce a lot of like legal problems. But oh yeah, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, um, it's because that they can still buy individual cards, right? Can they buy all like are all the cards up for sale, or is it just like they they all have? So basically, there's two kinds of currency in, and this is Legends of Runeterra. There's yeah. shards, which are their like free currency. You get it when you open their like rent chests and yeah. you get it when, when you have uh, all of the, the maximum number of copies of a card, it just becomes shards. Mm. Um, and then they've got coins, which are the, the currency you buy yeah. for real money. Yeah. Um, and each card has a shard cost and a coin cost and there. Mm. You can, you just pay one of them. So, um, I forgot what your question was. <laughs> <laughs> basically, I'm getting. I'm basically, I'm getting to the point. If they just made it so that you couldn't buy cards, yeah, with real money, then they could just implement trading, and there'd be no like, it, it'd be simpler, right? Right. Because uh, it sounds like, yeah, I don't know. Their 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 main uh like things they sell are these like cosmetic things for card yeah, backs. And, I think that's the idea. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe the yeah. I, I, there, I there's also an argument to be made that. Uh, a slow introduction of cards is healthy for learning the game. Mm. Where, uh, and this is something to to actually get cards the free way, which is sort of the primary method of acquiring them. Uh, you play games to get experience, which unlocks like a chests at the end of the week. Mm -hmm. So you, you get like a big bunch of cards at the end of a week, and then there's like a sort of arena style drafting mode. Yeah, and they limit it they limit the number of times you can do that to three times a week, even though you can like pay money to do it. Hmm. Um, after you've done it three times, you can keep playing, but you don't get any rewards hmm. um, and it's free. Yeah. So it, it, to me, it's, it seems like very clearly intended that you don't get cards quickly. Hmm. Um, maybe that's part of the business model is to yeah. keep people playing or maybe it's part of the, it's it's kind of a complex game. There's there's lots of little mechanical twists in mm. it that are quite subtle. So maybe it's part of the uh, method for teaching the game is just to slowly introduce these mechanics through slow card acquisition. I yeah. don't know. Have, maybe um, they, yeah. Oh, sorry. Ha has Blizzard talked about why they don't have trade in Hearthstone? Uh, they probably have. I haven't looked into it, okay. but I think you know it. it it probably again ties into like there's legal issues. Mm. It's bad for their for is their it, bottom is it dollar. Like World of Warcraft, I, I thought there was. Yeah, yeah. But you don't buy items for real money in World of Warcraft. Okay, but you probably could, right? Uh, you, there are probably. I mean, RMT there's, sites. You know, yeah. there's yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I've been in World of um, Warcraft, and you there's ads that yeah, are like you can sell characters oh, you, you buy can, gold can, and you yeah, can yeah, buy people gold. sell characters yeah. and like there's there's that, but that's a whole that's not under no, Blizzard's I know, like I know, I know. and and gear is is soul bound in that game as well. So trading that's true gear yeah. is difficult. You yeah. are probably buying gold, and you're probably buying characters. You know, mm. you're probably not buying gear. Yeah. I mean, also, there's just an auction house. If you're going to buy gear, yeah. you just buy it with the in-game money. That's true. Money. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. In auction house, really? Yeah. Yep. Huh. Yeah, that's where they got. And it I, didn't collapse it, like it did in. Well, the it's. It, it, oh, it's. I mean, the the inflation is out of control. Is like, yeah, because there's no way to really like get rid of get take gold out of the system a gold sink yeah there's no gold sink so that over time prices have just gone up and up and up because but players ability to earn gold has gone up and up yeah. and up. Mm. so it's just everything is worth like thousands of gold now mm. there used to be a time back in the early days of world of warcraft where to buy a mount the first tier mount you needed 10 gold for the training and 90 gold for the mount itself yeah. that was and it was bust. insane yeah it was like how do you do that and, and anybody who had a mount was like, "Oh my goodness, how do they do it?" I yeah. um, how much are they now? The I mean, the, I think they're the same amount, but yeah, like, but, oh, are they? but you but get getting, gold like getting a hundred thousand gold yeah, is not tr- is not yeah. difficult. Oh, like, so they they didn't actually change prices to reflect the inflation? No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> um, I think I think later on because uh, in later expansions, you know, like in real life, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. I think in I think in later on uh, in in later expansions they add like um. You need to get like uh, flying uh, yes. stuff yeah. for every zone that you're in. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They they've, they've limited it. It's actually quite interesting because uh, when Wrath of Listing came out, that's when um, flying mouse flying came out. Yep. happened, and they recognized that afterwards as a mistake because you could gain flying halfway through your leveling experience in that whole zone. Yeah, and you'd just fly from point A to point B and yeah. miss all the cool stuff that yeah, they've put in between. Yeah. So since then they've had it so that you have to like basically finish the entire like content of the expansion before huh. you can get flying. Okay. And I think for flying, like that cost is higher than you know what like like that has increased with yeah inflation, ten, I think. tens of thousands of gold. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. Um, they do have gold sinks. Flying, trading being one of them. Repairing being one of them. Yeah, but still, it's not. It's not a real gold sink. Yeah, it's the the yeah. rate of gold acquisition goes up every expansion. Yeah, and uh, the sinks just don't compete with it. And yeah. which is you know it makes sense. You don't really want a player to be losing money. Mm. That feels really bad if you're like watching your reserves drop every time you level up mm. yeah. yeah you just i don't know that they, they they do Tell need what they something need. that is... negative interest rates bro <laughs> <laughs> i it uh economies and mmos are really tricky beasts and i find them endlessly fascinating yeah, yeah is, so i think you should get like economists like actual yeah. in, like, I, well, eve eve online oh, yeah. employs actual in- <laughs> economists yeah. um eve is an interesting one because they've they have removed like uh resource generation like uh, spontaneous resource generation mm. basically all of the resources are that that exist exist yeah and it's all about exchanging and using I, and i like the thing i really like about eve is that the banks are player made yeah. and player run mm-hmm. there are actual people who are bank play that game as bank managers yeah, yeah. yeah. no i know and they can just suddenly decide I'm closing the shop and taking everyone's money. <laughs> and, and it's happened. And it's happened. It's, I, I yeah. love some of those stories. Dude, I, like, yeah. I like how they just have like subscriptions like being flying around and like planes yes. or jets or whatever. So that's an interesting example of a game where they have <clears throat> introduced basically real money trading as a mechanic yeah. in the form of you buy subscriptions they become tradable in-game items yeah, yeah. and you can exchange them for in-game mm. items. Yeah, it's really cool. So Blizzard had a similar thing like you can buy like Blizzard tokens that, yeah. or you can buy them with in-game gold, yeah, and, but uh, you can also buy them with like real money gold or something okay. like that. Like, because a friend of mine, when he was like unemployed, was grinding on World of Warcraft so he could pay for pay, pay for, for his <laughs> pay for World of Warcraft. Oh, God, <laughs> I can't imagine anything more grim. <laughs> so he's a junkie. Yeah, <laughs> it was a vicious cycle. And the thing is, the thing is, the the real. The real money, like those tokens, have a real money like value. Sure. Um, and so, like, it would actually like you could put well, it into an hourly wage. Well, yeah, and also the th- yeah, yeah, and it was like t- cents. As yeah, hour. cents on the dollar. Um, but like, I remember him saying that like their their gold value, I think, would fluctuate depending on Blizzard announcements. Yeah. So it was almost like their. It's, it's exactly <laughs> like this card game. Yeah. yeah. So like Bl- uh, Blizzard would announce, oh, we're, we've got like a big expansion coming up, and yeah. suddenly those like th- those things would shoot up in value because like the same with our game, yeah, like um, yeah, Path of Exile is like that. Yep, and the economy, yep. for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, Path of Exile's economy I find fascinating. We have issues of inflation as well because yep. there's you know you can grind enemies. Mm. There's no 
uh, strict currency sync other than crafting. Mm. Yeah. At least I do like that, though, that you can you have to spend currency. Like the, the thing you are using as currency has an actual function. Yes. I, I, I really think that's cool as yeah. well. Um, I'm, I've always wondered what would happen if there was like a limit on that. Yeah. You know, like what if. On crafting? Well, on, on the amount of currency that could exist. Oh, in the game? Yeah, like basically, like, this is basically big, yeah, yeah. Was big. <laughs> well, yeah, you've mined out all the chaos orbs. Like, <laughs> well, well, right, but uh, I mean, I, I guess like at some point it, it returns back into the economy when it's used. Yeah. You know, like, um, what stopped me from like taking all my uh, chaos out and just like not playing the game? Nothing. That's right. but, just, uh, that's, but nothing stops you from you doing that in real a, life. You got them all right? on a hard drive somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> don't lose that hard drive. <laughs> ba- banked money is a real economic problem, yeah. right? So it's it's something I find very curious, like mm. interesting. Yeah. Uh, like if that okay, if that happened, if we were like okay, no more chaos orbs. Yeah. They would eventually dwindle down and end up being like so expensive because people would need to use them. Like yes. there'll be people using them until there's a point where they'll they say become so rare. Mm. But I guess um, I, in the in economy I envision, uh, they there's only a, a set number of chaos orbs that can exist, and if you use it, it no longer exists. So therefore, it can oh, be dropped again. So another one can pop into exactly. The oh, okay. Um, Interesting. But uh, how much has... there would be lots of issues with that. You'd have to like do it based on the number of characters that have been created. Yeah. Uh, and then that's easy. I mean, you'd have usable to, and so you'd have to be like across all servers right because people trade across all they're not meant to don't it, they cross league trading thought... is not allowed i don't know i don't know um but i see what you're saying like at the end of a league a server collapses into standard right yeah yeah so this would be uh isolated would have to be isolated to a specific league but it's all theoretical i don't know even know of a good way we could do it yeah it's just something I found. How much curious. has the I've not looked at our economy at all. Yeah. How much has it like how much has inflation grown? Uh on standard it's grown quite a lot, I yeah. think. Um although what's you know, I don't know because the the rate of so the the sort of way we uh, most players view the economy is the chaos to exalt yeah. exchange rate. And that fluctuates league to league. Okay. Oftentimes, it's like 100 plus chaos per exalt. Wow. This league, it's like 60 chaos per exalt. Hmm. So that probably indicates that we're dropping more exalts than we normally do. Hmm. Uh, so, it, you know, the more exalts there are, you, you I, the, I guess the, the question is how the standard look. I guess it's a matter of what the ratio of exalts to chaos hmm. is. There's a lot of currency on standard. Yeah. But I don't know what the... Hmm. what that looks like prices on extent uh, on standard are absurd yeah for things if you want to buy stuff it's it's multiple like way 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 more yeah. exalted i've than you i've never bought anything i've got my character i'm, I'm banked that's um maybe i'm part of the problem yeah I'm, all, I am all my stuff is just banked <laughs> yeah i've got a lot of a lot of remove only tabs <laughs> yeah 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 um we're pretty much out of time did you have any it kind of looked like you had a question severin no no, no i didn't <laughs> Um, Good. <laughs> there was something we can talk about this uh, on the next podcast, but uh, I did say um, that uh, I had bought another early access oh, game, God. and <laughs> it's it is a medieval survival oh. game. Um, What's it called? It's, it's a big ca- surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Medieval Dynasties, <laughs> um, and you're you're not you like. We can talk about it later, but yeah. you're. The promise of this game is that you are building a town, a village, and a town, and a city, and a family. So oh, okay. That's yeah. That's why it's called medieval dynasties. So, You're building up a dynasty. Uh, okay. Cool. We'll talk about it next time. <laughs> yeah. I I I want you to um really think carefully about where your life went so wrong. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What do you mean? It hasn't gone wrong. <laughs> Dude, I'm on the cusp of buying a VR headset. <laughs> Nothing could be better. Life is great. I could really exist in this medieval family that I've... Yeah. I could really pretend that I've got a wife. <laughs> I can really pretend that I have a fulfilling life. <laughs> what more do you need? All right. Well, we'll be back in a couple of weeks. Uh, subscribe and stuff. Um, you can email us, frenzyquestions, gmail.com. Uh, or tweet at us at FrenzyCast. Facebook.com slash FrenzyCast is our Facebook page. FrenzyGamer.wordpress.com is our WordPress site. 
YouTube.com slash FrenziCast is our YouTube page. You, you should definitely subscribe on there. Um, you should check out Severn's Bants with... Uh, uh, with me. <laughs> Bants with... <laughs> Sam's Bants yeah, with Sam yeah, featuring Sam's, Jackson. <laughs> Jackson, that's right. Sorry. I, we've, I had, couldn't... we've had uh, great feedback on that. Yeah. Yep. I've already uh, booked my next guest. Nice. Who is it? Do you want to you wanna tell us? No, it's going to be a surprise. You want to oh. promote it? Um, I, I do a thing in between these episodes. That, that, that would be enough promotion. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, I'll look forward to that. We'll be back in a couple of weeks. Bye! I like talking about money. That was good. That's, that's, in- that's interesting. Yeah, the economy is so great. Um... But I just like looking at the real world, man. Like everything's fucking killing itself. I can't understand the real world. Oh yeah. <laughs> Negative. So much gear. It's so much easier for me to understand like World of Warcraft. Uh, yes. I love the real world world economy. I love, yeah. I love hearing about it. Um, it's, it's so gross what's happening right now. Yes.